All right, another topic on the mind of hedge fund managers right now, insider trading is coming after a series of very high-profile raids by the FBI. One area of concern, so-called expert networks, such as the one run by the service Primary Global Research. Executive Don Chu there, he was arrested last week. Also, are expert networks providing tips or breaking the law? Here to tell us all about it, we have Bill Currier, partner at the corporate law firm White & Case. He's also a former assistant and Chief Litigation Counsel at the Securities and Exchange Commission. Also with us is Bloomberg contributing editor Bill Cohen. He's, he's the author of the uh, best-selling book, House of Cards. Gentlemen, good to have you with us on good Bloomberg on you. Taking Stock. Here. Bill Currier, what exactly are expert networks? Uh, expert networks are uh, consultants who provide expert advice on uh, the trading areas that hedge funds uh, are focused on. Um, and the information that they get can come from many sources, legitimate and uh, uh, apparently and possibly illegitimate. Um, hedge funds uh, that are well organized and well run and uh, well supervised have no interest in getting inside information from these kinds of organizations, but those that are not may find it uh, useful to their own strategies to attempt to get access to information they shouldn't otherwise get. Bill Cohen, you know how Wall Street works and how it's developed. Why do we now have expert networks? Is that because of something the government has done in the past, or how did these things grow? Uh, uh, Pim, I think you can probably somebody could do a correlation analysis. It's probably correlated closely to the introduction of Reg FD, which, of course, so it's one of the unintended Full consequences. Full disclosure, right? Full disclosure. Everything has to be, you know, insider trading, inside information has been with us for a very long time. Uh, it was never against the law, then it became against the law, then it was never prosecuted, then it started to be prosecuted. And I think one of the unintended consequences of Reg FD is that with information having to be disclosed all at once, getting information in whatever way you can before others get it becomes very valuable, especially to hedge funds that are trading quickly or, or computerized trading services and even some on Wall Street, uh, you know, that are not necessarily hedge funds, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, do that uh, fast trading as well. So, you know, it becomes very important to get that information very quickly, which I think is unfortunate, as I said, one of the unintended consequences of this. Trying to get the edge. Bill Kerr, yeah. does this give you the impression that there is a lot more to be revealed about the role of expert networks and how they get their information and what that information is? I, I actually don't think that that's going to be the focus of this investigation. I think the in, real focus is insider trading in a variety of forms in which the investigators are uh, have learned through collection of tips and information uh, that targets that they focus on are getting their information from. Some of it may come from these organizations. Some of it may uh, come from relationships that they develop. Some of them may come from wiretapping. Some may come from uh, actual investigations that the FBI and the, uh, the SEC are involved in. Uh, and they turn and flip somebody and use that person, for example, uh, possibly in, in these cases involving search warrants. There's going to be an affidavit. They got that information that supported the uh, affidavit from someplace. It isn't all from these networks. It's just another source for possible improper information. Bill Cohen, should investors be concerned? Uh, there have been letters written by the Securities and Exchange Commission as well as the FBI asking for additional information from mutual fund companies as well as from hedge funds. What does this mean for investors? Well, I think any time, Pim, you have uh, an investigation like this and headlines regarding insider trading, which seems to be happening once every decade or so, and in this decade we have the Raj investigation. The as Raj well. Rajaratnam of Galleon, right? Thank you for helping me that, with his no, name. No, that's all right, but and, I mean, you were going to talk, talk also about the outflow of money. When something happens, what happens? Investors just pull the plug. It, it, gives, it gives investing in general a bad name. And, it, you know, it, it doesn't take much these days to give Wall Street a bad name. Wall Street has been doing it itself a little damage lately, as we all know. And then to have insider trading on top of that, people get really nervous, and it seems like the game is rigged unfairly against small investors, and that just doesn't inspire confidence. Bill, how do we get this confidence back into the system? I, I actually believe that uh, a rigorous enforcement environment combined with uh, 
hedge fund practices, which include serious and uh, well-organized compliance programs, will build confidence. While it's true that uh, individual cases like this scare the market in the short term, in the long term, even the hedge funds don't want uh, to make use of the good ones, don't want to make use of this information, and, the, and many uh, hedge funds who feel that that there are those who are misusing uh, non-public material information for their own advantage shouldn't be in the market anyway. So the long-term result should improve confidence for investors because they'll feel that they'll get a square deal in the marketplace. Bill Cohen, do you agree? Well, I do agree in the long term, which of course we all have to said, get to the long term. Though. As Kane said, in the long term, we're all dead. Uh, in the short term, investors have to make decisions about whether to be in the market or not. And you know, I think investors rightly get concerned when they see this kind of shenanigans going on. You know, one one question also raised by these investigations is, you know, thinking back to Bob Freeman's arrest uh, on the floor of Goldman Sachs, is are the uh, prosecutors doing it the right way? We look forward to having you both in the future to help us and guide us through this issue. I want to thank you very much, Bill Cohen, the author of House of Cards, Bill Courier from White and Case. Coming up, America.